From Dubai and Greece to Spain and the rest of Europe, it looks as though there are plenty of debtors to go around, but few efforts to pay it off. We partnered with the Financial Times to bring you Lex on Bloomberg so you can get a sneak peek at the FT's flagship column a day early. Richard Stoven Bradford joins me now live from London. And Richard, uh, Ireland is taking the pain. Could Greece and Spain perhaps take a lesson from what was once known as the Celtic Tiger? They certainly could. The, the difference is that Spain and Greece have, have really procrastinated about making those salary cuts and cutting prices that the Irish have taken really in their stride. There seems to be denial in Greece and Spain. There seems to be acknowledgement in, in Ireland that things have got to be done and they've got to be harsh adjustments in order to regain competitiveness. Remember that these are all countries in the Eurozone, so they can't devalue their currency because they're all in it together to regain competitiveness. So the main thing they could do would be to tax themselves out of this mess. The trouble is that would cause even more unrest than you're seeing on the streets of Greece already. So the Irish are leading the way because they've decided that they're going to cut their spending. And that has started right at the top. The Taoiseach, or the Prime Minister of Ireland, is taking a 25-30% pay cut. Ministers doing the same. Greece has got to learn this kind of thing, otherwise it, what is going to happen? Well, the fear was there would be default, and we've seen bond spreads go all the way out against German bunds, and then the 10-year bond spreads have come back in again today. Why? Because Germany and France have stood behind as political allies and said, don't worry, we'll stand behind you. Uh, Richard, it appears as though there really is little resolve to tackling the debt. Is it because of what you described in Greece, the unrest, the political fear of a popular revolt? I, I suppose there's part of, it's partly that. But then, you know, for a different kind of political reason, funny enough, in the UK, there was a huge sell-off in, in guilds, 10-year guilds, yesterday, because investors felt that Alistair Darling, Chancellor, had not really made the tough adjustments in his, his pre-budget review. Why? Because there's an election next year. So there are all sorts of um, political and, and okay. social considerations in the background. All right, that is Richard Stoven Bradford from the Lex Desk in London. Richard, thank you.